10 Wealthiest People in Ghana 2022 Ghana, one of the largest economies in West Africa, is home to some of the continent's wealthiest people. It is one of Africa's pride, thanks to its huge cultural, human, tourism, mineral, and other resources. With a country as diverse as Ghana, it's unexpected to find some renowned figures dubbed the richest men in Ghana with large fortunes. We'll look at the 10 wealthiest Ghanaian men, their professions, and current net worth in this video. Let's get straight into it. Number 10. Milad Milet and Family $620 million Milad, a Ghanaian of Lebanese descent, founded Milad Textile Corporation Limited in 1958. The company was originally established to manufacture towels. In the early 80s, the firm changed its name to Spintex Limited and it developed into an integrated textile firm that manufactured high-quality textiles for the Ghanaian and wider African market. Spintex, however, faced severe competition as a result of the influx of imported used clothing onto the Ghanaian market. This was as a result of the liberalization of the Ghanaian economy under the Structural Adjustment Reform Program of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, which resulted in the abolition of import restrictions. Locally produced textiles could not compete with low-priced used clothing. The name of the company was subsequently changed to Printex in 1997. Milad is reported to be worth $620 million. Number 9. Samuel Esson Jonah. Net worth $650 million. When it comes to men with strong intellectual capacity and financial savvy, Samuel Esson comes to mind. Jonah is the cream of the crab and one of Ghana's wealthiest individuals. Over the last two decades, Jonah has proved his commercial acumen in the number of capacities in Ghanaian business and industry. As a result, he has worked extremely hard to earn every dime he has and is now one of Ghana's wealthiest men. Jonah is the current chancellor of the University of Cape Coast and the executive chairman of his own company, Jonah Capital. Number 8. Kwabena Dufo Net worth $680 million Kwabena Dufo was the finance minister of Ghana. He has also held the position of governor of the Bank of Ghana. Dufo is the founder and chairman of Hoda Holdings, a conglomerate of businesses that includes insurance, banking, real estate, farming, mining, and media. Currently, Kwabena Dufo is worth $680 million. Number 7. Kalmoni Family Net worth $700 million The Kalmonis obtained their fortune from their automobile company, Japan Motors, which has seven companies in its stable. The Kalmonis Modern Automobile Services deals in a wide range of vehicles from Korea and China and is a main distributor of Tata vehicles with an onward presence of 7,000 vehicles in Ghana and West Africa. They currently have a net worth of $700 million. Number 6. Patricia Poku Diaby Net worth $720 million It's nearly impossible to talk about the top richest and powerful women in Ghana and even Africa at large and miss the name Patricia Poku Diaby. Patricia Poku Diaby is a wealthy woman and a woman of status who enjoys the best and all pleasant things life has to offer. Her net worth is proof that she tops the list of the top 10 richest women in Ghana. She has a net worth of over $720 million, which is believed to have stemmed from her ownership of Plot Enterprise Ghana, a business venture concerned with the processing of cocoa. Number 5. Irani Brothers Net worth $800 million Today, the Irani brothers are extremely popular in Ghana. For almost two decades, they've been a household name, offering high-quality flour and pastries to individuals across the country. These brothers have achieved enormous advances in Ghana, particularly in the country's flour business, where they are responsible for 55% of the flour and pastries consumed by the inhabitants. 
Their impact on Ghana's economy is so significant that it cannot be ignored. Their dominance in Ghana's flat sector is just unrivaled. They are believed to have a joint net worth of $800 million. Number 4. Michael Ibrahim Mahama, net worth $860 million. The majority of Ibrahim's money comes from mining concessions and contracts to mine on behalf of multinational mining companies in West Africa. Engineers and planners in West Africa's largest indigenously owned mining engineering firm, delivering services to some of the world's top mining firms. Over the years, the company has made considerable financial expenditures to increase its fleet of equipment to a level sufficient to sustain operating as a primary contractor to gold fields in Ghana. Number 3. John Mahama, net worth $900 million. John Mahama is the third on the list of the top 10 richest men in Ghana. He once served as the president of Ghana in 2012, taking over from the deceased president, Atta Mills. Mahama started out his career as a writer, historian, and communications expert. To further increase his knowledge and expertise in politics, he became part of the NGO, Plan International's Ghana Country Office, where he worked as international relations, sponsorship communications, and grants manager. Number 2. Dr. Nkwame Ado Kufuo, net worth $1.2 billion. Kwame Ado Kufuo is a widely known Ghanaian politician and physician who held numerous political offices while in active service. Ado Kufuo was a member of parliament from Mania. Between 2001 and 2007, he became the Minister for Defense, appointed by President John Kufuo, who is his brother. Between June 2008 and 2009, he was also appointed in the position of Minister of Interior of Ghana. He has an estimated net worth of $1.2 billion. Number 1. Ernesto Tarikon, net worth $1.3 billion. If you've asked the question, who is the richest man in Ghana? Well, here is your answer. As of today, Ernesto Tarikon is currently the richest man in Ghana. He was born in Italy, but has since gained citizenship by naturalization several years ago. Having seen the potential within the economy of Ghana, Tarikon decided to settle down in Ghana and make a wide range of investments in different sectors of the Ghanaian economy. As the CEO and executive chairman of Trasaco Group, Tarikon has been able to turn his fortune from millions to billion within a couple of decades. Today, his numerous companies employ more than 4,000 Ghanians and expats, further contributing to the local content policy implemented by the government of Ghana. As a civil engineer, he oversaw the construction of Trasaco Valley, which is home to some of the most luxurious buildings in Ghana. We've come to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed this session. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Share our video with your friends and family. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information.